Now alongside the beefy new Galaxy S10 flagship phone, Samsung has also launched a curious piece known as the Galaxy S10e. This is essentially a more compact and slightly stripped back version of that original vanilla S10. Now while many of the specs and features are shared between the two, there are some key differences between them as well. So here's my full side by side comparison with the Galaxy S10 and the S10e so you know exactly what's what. And don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So although the S10e is built as a compact version of the S10, it is actually quite tricky to tell the difference between the two when they're slapped into your palms. The S10 definitely has a bit more height, but in other respects they are very similar. For a start there's the weight, the S10e weighs 150 grams versus the 157 gram Galaxy S10. And the S10 is only slightly wider than the S10e as well at 70.4 millimeters versus 69.9. As for the thickness, they're both a shade under 8mm. Thankfully, both are fairly easy to use with just one hand as well, certainly compared with a lot of other 6.5 inch beasts that I've been fond of them lately, so to speak. Now, the Samsung reps could confirm in our briefing, but the Galaxy S10e most likely uses a Gorilla Glass 5 coating, while the Galaxy S10 bumps this up to a Gorilla Glass 6. The good news though is that both phones are fully IP68 dust and water resistant, and both versions offer Samsung's full range of prism colours to choose from as well green, white, black, and blue. However, only the Galaxy S10e comes with this fetching canary yellow finish. If you want people to stare at you as you ride the tube, then this is definitely the one to go for. Now when it comes to the display tech, Samsung's Galaxy S10e packs in a 5.8 inch screen with a flat finish, while the Galaxy S10 bumps this up to a 6.1 inch edge display. This as usual curves around both sides to pretty much eliminate those side bezels. And Samsung screen also reaches up to nearly the very top of both handsets because the selfie cameras are housed in a punch hole style notch up in that top corner. Although the S10e does lose that edge display finish, the actual screen tech basically remains the same. Both the Galaxy S10 and the S10e support Samsung's dynamic AMOLED panel with HDR Plus support. This can boost and lower the brightness dynamically depending on the visuals. And the point of that is basically to offer the full range of colour visibility at any one time. However, while the original Galaxy S10 boasts a Quad HD Plus resolution, as is standard for Galaxy S series smartphones, the S10e does drop this to a full HD Plus resolution. The difference is really only obvious when you carefully study images on both phones side by side, or at least it was for my knackered old eyes. So the S10e is still perfectly fine for enjoying movies with a crisp, clear finish. Now the Samsung Galaxy the S10 actually has a funky in-display fingerprint sensor built into the bottom half of that screen. This is highly accurate at capturing all of the individual ridges in your finger, so it should work even when your hands are wet or a bit greasy. In contrast, the S10e has an edge-mounted fingerprint sensor instead, similar to Sony's old-school Xperia's. Unfortunately, this is kind of awkwardly positioned up at the top of the right edge. That's absolutely fine if you're holding the phone in your right hand because you can just use your thumb to reach up there, but if you're holding it in your left hand then it's a bit of a stretch for your finger. You also get simple 2D face recognition on both of these Samsung blowers as well. There is no 3D mapping unfortunately, so this won't be as secure as that fingerprint sensor. Thankfully, there's no compromise on the Galaxy S10e when it comes to the performance though, as both devices rock the same mobile platform. Samsung was suitably vague on the actual chipset used in these handsets as it wasn't 100% locked down at the time of the briefing apparently. But both the S10 and the S10e will apparently use the same octa-core 8nm processor, and you can basically expect this to be the Exynos 9820 here in Europe. That said, the Galaxy S10e does offer a choice between 6 or 8 gigs of RAM, while its bigger brother sticks with 8 gigs as standard. Not that we're expecting to see much of a performance difference between the two. Now, both the S10 and the S10e use a bit of Android Pie, with Samsung's own One UI smothered nicely on top. But as far as we could tell in our hands-on session, they both offer the same complement of features. That said, the Galaxy S10 does have Samsung's now obligatory heart rate sensor mounted on the back end, something that you don't get on the more budget-friendly S10e. As for the storage, both phones come with a base level of 128 gigs, which is upgradable to 256 gigs on the S10e or a whopping 512 gigs on the S10. And whichever SKU you choose, you will be able to slap in a micro SD memory card as well to boost it by a further 512 gigs. Nice. As for the battery tech, it's a 3100mAh cell in the S10e versus a 3400mAh on the standard version. We're fully expecting to see similar battery life on these two phones, however, as you get that smaller Full HD Plus screen on the S10e. And the other battery features remain the same, so you get fast wireless charge and 2.0 on both of these Samsung handsets. And you also get Samsung's new wireless power share feature on board as well, which basically gives you reverse wireless charging just like Huawei's Mate 20 Pro. And both phones are also Wi-Fi 6 ready out of the box, although sadly there's no support for 5G. For that, you'll have to wait till around summertime when the new 5G ready version of the S10 comes out. Better get saving now though, because it won't be cheap.
The final big difference is with the rear camera tech. You get a dual lens rear camera on the S10e versus the new triple lens shooter here on the S10. To keep things simple, the first two lenses are at least identical. You get a 12 megapixel dual pixel lens with optical image stabilization. And that offers a dual aperture as well, switching between f1.5 and f2.4 to match the surrounding environmental conditions. As for the second lens, it's a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle snapper on both phones with an f2.2 aperture. However, the standard S10 also finds room for a third 12 megapixel telephoto lens with f2.4 aperture. And once again, you get a tasty slice of OIS. Load up those camera apps and you basically get the same overall experience, except of course you've got three lenses to choose between on the S10 compared with just two on the S10e. You get the same smart scene recognition feature which recognises all of the same subjects, including new stuff like clothes and cats. You have the best shot feature which helps you to line up your snap using the rule of thirds and you appear to get all of the same photo and video modes on both of these smartphones too, so you're not losing out on anything on the S10e besides that zoomed in viewpoint. There's a match right down to the video tech as well where you can shoot 4K resolution footage at up to 60 frames per second with an option for HDR support as well. And if we flip them both around and stick on that front camera instead, you get the same single lens shooter on both the S10e and the S10. It's a 10 megapixel dual pixel snapper with an f1.9 aperture. You get the same wide angle view for your groofies or whatever the frick they're called. And of course those Bokka style effects and the ability to shoot up to 4K resolution video for a bit of vlogging in your spare time. So that right there in a nutshell is how the Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10e shape up. Which one are you more tempted by if either of them? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. Is the S10e just a bit too much of a compromise, bit of a deal breaker? Be great to hear your thoughts and don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you!